Okay, listen to this now, to how NBC's Lester Holt reacted to Donald Trump's second assassination attempt. Watch this. Today's apparent assassination attempt comes amid increasingly fierce rhetoric on the campaign trail itself. Mr. Trump, his running mate J.D. Vance, continue to make baseless claims about Haitian immigrants in Ohio. This weekend, there were new bomb threats in that town. Baseless claims. Joe Concha joins me now. Joe, uh, I, I, I think I know the answer, but are you surprised by this? <laughs> Boy, I mean... This is the second assassination attempt, Ashley, of the former president yeah. in the past two months. And that, that is what we hear on the NBC Nightly News. I get it if I hear it on MSNBC because they are who they are. But this is supposed to be the objective, mm. serious journalist, Lester Holt. And he makes that pivot from somebody tried to kill the former president today. Oh, and by the way, there's some really mean rhetoric about Haitians overtaking a town in Springfield, Ohio, which probably led to all of this. It is so reckless, such a joke. And I guess, yeah, to answer your question in a very long way, not surprised whatsoever, because this is what our media now is at this point, victim blaming Donald Trump here uh, be because they think rhetoric led to this. When we don't know what the shooters motives were no. to this point, right? Exactly right. All right, let's move on to this one. Uh, Trump and Vance have sat down for at least 52 interviews since the Harris Walsh wow. ticket was confirmed. That's compared to just 10 non scripted interviews from Harris and Waltz themselves. Look, Harris sat down for her first solo interview over the weekend. Uh, is this just the new basement strategy? Uh, and those numbers are actually misleading, Ashley, uh, because Mm. Kamala Harris and Tim Walz have yet to do one solo interview with a national news organization. They have yet to do an interview with the editorial boards of the New York Times and Washington Post, Post which, as sure as you're born, uh, they will endorse this ticket, yeah. and yet they're afraid to sit down with these people. That's because they are cowards, plain and simple. They think they could win the presidency by pleading the fifth and not sharing any of their true policy positions. It's the Seinfeld campaign. It's a campaign about nothing and airing of grievances <laughs> about Trump right out of Festivus. And, and we have a media that doesn't seem to have any problem with having zero access to these candidates. But I think that only gets you so far, Ashley. I, I think if you're not defining yourself, then you're giving your opponent the opportunity to define you. And right now, Kamala Harris, especially in those states that matter, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Georgia, North Carolina, mm. Arizona, Nevada, she is seen by some voters as inauthentic and a flip-flopper willing to say anything to be president. She's got to be out there more, but her handlers are going to make sure that does not happen. Exactly. I, I, last one for you, Joe. J.D. Vance joining CNN's uh, Dana Bash for an interview. Uh, listen to what she said, or he said, after she repeatedly interrupted him. Listen to this. Dana, would you like to ask me questions and then let me answer them, or would you like to debate me uh, on, on these topics. I noticed that when you had Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz, you gave them multiple choice answers to the questions that you asked and you allowed them to answer the questions. I'm happy to hear, to be here to talk about policy, but if you're going to interrupt me every single time that I open my mouth, then why am I even doing this? So please ask a question and I'd ask you to be polite enough to yes. let me answer it. Boy, did she get taken to school. Uh, good for Vance, is he right? Vance is exactly right, Ashley. Uh, Dana Bash mm -hmm. tried to multitask during that interview with Kamala Harris and Tim Walls by uh, giving her a massage and at the same time giving her multiple <laughs> choice <laughs> answers to every question because, boy, we can't make her uncomfortable. We don't want her to look rehearsed. And it still didn't work, by the way. Uh, Kamala Harris wants it both ways. Uh, on one hand, she wants voters to remember her record while she was in office, you know, the parts that she says was good. And then on the other hand, she wants mm -hmm. you to ignore her record in office, uh, which continues to this day. So, yeah, J.D. Vance has been masterful during these interviews. He did three interviews yeah. this weekend with three Sunday talk shows. Tim Walls, it bears repeating, has yet to do one solo interview by himself, despite being the tough assistant volunteer coach that he portrays himself to be. My high school football coach was an ex-Marine. I'm certain he's, he, was, he wouldn't be afraid like Tim Walls <laughs> is. But J.D. Vance is out there, and he's making uh, very, very good arguments and taking on the media at the same time, which he knows, obviously, is rigged against him. Yeah, he's pretty good, isn't he? Uh, Joe, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Uh, always so much to Thanks, talk Ashley. about.